Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I'll talk about the new OneDrive Universal Windows app that is about to come to Windows 10. Um, in the, I want to talk about why I think the OneDrive Universal Windows app won't be like the Windows 8.1 Metro app or uh, the OneDrive app you got on the Windows 8.1 version. Uh, the reasons are very simple. Uh, but first let me explain how the OneDrive uh, in Windows 8.1 worked. Uh, basically, the OneDrive and Windows 8.1 app was basically a metro version of the file browser. You could browse your entire hard drive or you could also browse your OneDrive folder. And if you could browse your entire OneDrive folder and see all the files. When you clicked on a file that was already synced to your PC, it opened the file, it launched the file right from your hard drive. It didn't download it from the web. It didn't download from the cloud. However, if you down, if you try to open a file that you haven't synced to your PC and it was in the cloud, it would download the file right to your hard drive and it would open it for you. But at the same time, the next time you would launch the app, it would it would stay downloaded so you could, it would always open right from the hard drive. You would have to right click on the file and unsync it to put it back on the cloud only. So in 8.1, the app was heavily integrated with the file explorer and the sync engine. So it it will open the file either from the cloud or the hard drive based on whether you have it or whether you have it synced or not. However, the new Universal Win the Universal Windows Platform version, the OneDrive app in Windows 10, will not work like this. It'll work like the phone version. You can browse all your OneDrive files. However, when you click on a file, it will always download from the cloud. It will never care whether or not you have the file synced to your hard drive. For example. If you have a 5 gigabyte file synced to a hard drive, in Windows 8.1 app, when you clicked on the file, it will just open the file immediately. In, in the Windows 10 app, when you open the file, it would download 5 gigabyte worth of content and then open the file. So that's, that's the biggest difference. It would not integrate with, your, with the files you have synced with the desktop OneDrive client. Now why is it different? In Windows 8.1, the OneDrive Metro app isn't a Windows Store app, it's a system app located in your window, Windows root folder. Uh, it worked with the file, ma file manager and it worked with the d sync engine to manage all your files and, uh, and s know whether the file is synced or not. The, and it's also unsandboxed, so it's not sandboxed and it has full system access. The OneDrive Universal Windows app in Windows 10 is sandboxed. It's downloaded from the Windows Store, whereas the 8.1 app was managed by Windows Update. It's downloaded from the Windows Store and updated through the Windows Store. It's sandboxed and it's located in your Program Files folder and it does not have full system access. So it works more like the mobile app and not the 8.1 app. So this is the difference. The qu biggest question is, however, will this change? Well, of course, I, I expect it to change. I won't be surprised if the app becomes more close to the 8.1 app later on in the future. But however, I do think it requires much more uh, system updates. It needs oper operating system level changes before this is possible. And this is why I don't think this will happen this year. My, my expectation is this will become much more powerful. The app is going to become much more powerful powerful in the Redstone 2 release of Windows 10, which is scheduled to release in 2017.